What's up? This is HD News here. So, unfortunately, my phone, some kind of person is trying to get my personal information on my account. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to give out the Google or Apple. Because last time, it goes way back in May, someone literally from this state, or I think it was China or something, I had an app that was kind of weird. It was China letters and there's a couple of those. I had a setting I never put on and I turned it off right after. So it installs apps automatically. So, um, they got on there, they changed the password, couldn't get in, had two step application on this device. And then they're trying to do it again. So, we're going off like five, ten days, ten times a day or so, or five times or more. And it's up to the point where this phone's got some personal information to them. They are able to get into this. But I'm not putting the password in because I know I don't trust it. And now it's at the point where it looks like it's real. But now, you know how they say if you push that home button, that home button in the center and it, you know, and it goes away, it, it didn't go away. And I pushed cancel and I'm thinking, why would Apple want my Google? Why? Why would they? I mean, it keeps coming up. Obviously, Apple wouldn't do this. So, you know, and it goes away for so long, and it has all the information it needs, basically. So, I'm thinking, I'm not taking a chance. This happened several times before. Yeah, Gmail is my Apple. I'm just trying to make sure that no one gets the incorrect amount of data because you know I got disability and I don't want to take a chance hey watch it cat so I'm recording and you know this phone's been having trouble lately it's been acting up it's been not able to upload videos basically it will record a video on the app or so it's you know on it you know 1080p at 60 frames a second or so but it gets real hot. It's like a it's like a thousand megs to actually upload to wireless. And I'm thinking there's gotta be a better way. This phone is pretty much in probably at the same end of its life cycle. It's probably seen its fair days at work. Unfortunately like after a couple of years it's the case was bad, it was dusted. So if you don't know, I really can't wear a cheap watch. I cannot. The device is all messed up. If you see me at a local Walmart or something like that, you see me near self checker, you'll hear the sounds of, you know, it's not working. It's kind of like glitching and they'll break. I've been known to see the time clock dim for like a week and then go back to normal after I'm like gone after a while. It'll get so dark, and recently, just recently, it did where you could barely read it. Sign in, the clock in, you know, at Walmart. And some devices do that to me. I just be around them, they just, it just happens. So, you know, it's a trait of my dad's father's. It's something that's pretty much not, you can't, you can't really avoid it. It's just that my body has, one, has too much iron. I mean, it probably has both like high pulse I'm sure it does but you know anything with the battery you'll technically mess up you know if it has any kind of because a lot of computers have batteries these days if you don't know and I've been known to make their machine stop working after it's like so many days there's even one broken right now probably because <laughs> I've seen it in the last week or so just can't use it so, if Hold Lab will break, I'll be around it. These things will mess up, they'll glitch. Most computers, they even had a new one, like brand new. Been around it a little bit and it just stops working. The rest are fine. Or, you know, it's, not, it's just kind of like a, it's kind of like a random what happens, you know, when it actually breaks around me. It doesn't mean everything's going to break, but most things do, except for this, but. This thing on my cell, the phone will act up, which is how I am. I plug in the charger, 
I'll get notifications from about a year ago, quite literally, at some times when the phone messes up. My buddy at Carter Cart Pressure has got the same thing, same luck. It's really a weird phenomenon that happens with us. Cupcake, go. My sister's a black cat. It's lonely, she just, you know, it's, there's wires here, and I'm directly, directly connected to the, uh, you know, the cable modem. The faster ones, like 200 megs to speak, quite literally. So, you know, it's. Oh, yes. Lonely again. This cat's been bad at times. Quite literally, it's terribly grateful in time when you first had it. You know, it likes going to the bathroom. It sometimes it's kind of. Are you going in there? <laughs> it's kind of weird. You know, I. We said dogs and. I don't know. <sighs> Cupcake. Oh my god. Jesus. He's, he's always lonely. He's the only cat in the house. I mean, I used to be severely allergic to him. Ow. He, you, if you didn't know, I have cavities that have fixed like seven years almost. And they're, well, you know why you can't you have them fixed? Well, I don't know if they have them, but you know what happened? I'm born with a liver disease with your blood center. Alright, literally, I'm hemophiliac. A type in army didn't work. It's not any kind of work like that. It's dangerous. I will bleed regardless of the medicine. And I can't take medicine anymore. It kept any side effects. They were bad. Quite literally, stomach flu symptoms. Now my hands late recently in the last like last month early. I had numb hands before I left. I had to leave early. And I was literally vomiting the next morning early until the medicine got out of my system. And it did some damage. Okay? The next day, I had a salad. It didn't agree too many potatoes. I had to go to the bathroom and get rid of it. You know, like, if, you know, when you have these kind of stomach issues, you won't throw up after you're done after that. You just have to go to the bathroom and leave wherever it was. Cause your body will get rid of it naturally without going up straight through your throat and out of your mouth. But that medicine was a uh, medicine that was. Usually treat it for red witters, treat them, but they also use it for human feel like my case. It raises the factor levels thirty percent, and it's, it doesn't work on me. I used to, be able to take it without any side effects whatsoever, zero, and be fine. But it was also the worst part. I think also was the severe cramping. I'm not joking. Muscle cramps twenty four seven, twenty four hours. Whenever I'm on it. Bam, cramps like you can't believe. Severe every muscle. You can't even feel comfortable sleeping, let alone working, because you can't work with it. It's not bad in my cases with it. And it's just, it dehydrate. it's meant to dehydrate you. But at the, at the level of what it did, it's not safe. It, my body didn't like it, so be it. You know? That was a medicine. It was only a nasal. That was not a shot. Now I have to go with Factor because guess what? They don't sell the shots for the uh, kids with the, you know the people like me. We talk to a nurse, and that's what they do. They only give it to hospitals, quite literally. And what we looked for, we talked about the hemophilia doctor last time. A couple of years ago, it was the same medicine, basically around pressing. And it would do the same thing, basically, as a pill and all that, so. He seemed more worried about that part, you know, under, you know, in St. Louis, because Barnes is where I had the surgery, and he was right there, just in case. And that was early June. So, you know, I would cover I said I a little bit, that had impacted, had an impact your wisdom teeth, and one on the right side, but only two on here. The left, thank I'm in. Thank God. Place the Lord, place the Lord, right? Or praise the Lord, I mean, it's like, it's, 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 it's
correctly. Okay, I I do have a disability, so I'm not a verbal. It's a little weaker than normal. IQ is a little lower than normal. So, you know, bleed in the past, you know, and all that. But, you know, I've been through a lot. I tell you. I mean, the Fia did do damage down the road. Some parts, I mean... There were some times where we couldn't treat the thing all at once because that's how this family was severe. So there was always a higher chance of me bleeding. And that little stymate, you know, I call it, I just told you about, I, I didn't say that name, but it went treated. I had one joint bleed because it went so bad, bled so bad that the needle three didn't even treat it. I had to get an IV infusion, the factor that we had in the garage. And the refrigerator was so good you know, it's like over 10 years ago like that was like 2004 or so and that's all it took it was expensive I mean a lot of insurance companies were not paid that money you know it's bioengineered it's grown it's purified it's this is what we go through as hemophiliacs we had to pay a big amount of money to these medicine makers and make these drugs to treat this disease and they're not cheap. I rather have cheap medicine <laughs> and have payments be low with health insurance and have coverage better. But you know, when they make a medicine like this, they got all the drug in the market. It's not always the safest thing, but you know, they try to make it the safest. Lifespan has gone up a lot for us type. These medicines they approve when it's before they approve their drugs. And they're approved because they're safe. Now they get tested over like five to ten years. And watch everybody closely. And they're doing genetic study, by the way, gene therapy. Experimental drugs to see if we can actually get that labor to work better. In my case, I lack factor eight, so I don't. I might have a little bit. One day recently, I'm not told I don't have none. Like, I always remember I had some of it in me, just not a lot. A factor eight where I could, you know, it's just basically making protein that. Everybody needs the clot, and I don't have a lot of it. And as I guess it's a cascading domino disorder. So, problems in one of those, you know, puts pressure on the blood clots. You know, form the clot when you bleed. My levels of that is low until I get factor rate in. Every other factor is safety activated until factor rate comes in quickly, and it pretty much does its job. The rest activate afterwards. That's how it is for hemophiliacs. So we clot slower, but we can bleed more. But it was a painful disease 98 years ago. Because back then they had, they only had infusions, and that was pure blood. That was tainted blood. They didn't have what they had now. You rest yourself for blood transfusion for a factor in your blood type. So now it's all pure fights, universal. And the medicines I use, they gave me, but the factor never gave me a side effect, so that's a good thing. One was Advate. That was a strong one, trust me. Strong. One of the strongest you could probably get for one dose. I treat a big one that was for that teeth. Those guns back there where they tear it into. Also was, I think last year, I think it was Bayer. It was one of those Bayer medicines, but it was strong too. You know, but no side effects for those, that's good. That's what you want. And that's probably the path I'm going probably right you now, how it looks like for my hemophilia treatment for the future. Because the body just can't tolerate stymie anymore. It just won't handle it. just doesn't like it. And that's what happens when you're going to exchange over the years. I don't like saying that, but whatever. So thanks for watching. See ya. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment below. Thanks for watching.